Greetings, unsettled souls. <laughs> It's the You Are an Idiot music. You know what that means. It's the dum D of the day here at The Correct Views. Greetings, friends. Insanity from InfoWars. UNICEF is taking the Taliban at face value on promise to educate women and girls. This was dated on the 18th. On the 18th, I had reported to you about them killing women for not wearing a trash bag, also known as a burqa. I just reported to you that they burnt down an amusement park because they had a statue, which wasn't even of a religious nature, because it may have made a certain bearded prophet angry. But UNICEF? UNICEF believes the Taliban. Who would you believe? Would you believe the people who said that they might be dangerous? Because they have a history of raping women, molesting children, preventing women from moving freely without a male chaperone in their own family. Or would you, would you believe the Taliban? The people who have released videos about bragging about doing these things to women when they say, and others, when they say that they're not going to do it anymore. But this is a dumb deal of the day. Guess who UNICEF believed? Uh, they appear to be uh, taking the Taliban at face value, it is written, after the extremist group declared uh, that it will support education for women and girls, with the head of the UN organization saying that he has, quote, not, heard a, not had a single issue with the Taliban after they promised to get schools up and running in Afghanistan. Exactly how has that worked for you? Friends, the next time you're going to donate to UNICEF, and I'm a pretty charitable, I try to be a charitable person, you might want to remember that maybe if this is the sort of intelligence and logic that they're using day to day, maybe not. According to Reuters, uh, the UN is quite optimistic about the Taliban taking control. Optimistic. About the Taliban! Optimistic about the Taliban! That's like saying that you're hopeful that Drake might someday release a good CD. It's just never going to happen. We have ongoing discussions. We are quite optimistic based on those discussions. UNICEF's chief of field operations in Afghanistan, Mustafa Ben Mossad, told the UN briefing, well, guess what? He might have been a bit mistaken, judging by the burning rubber that used to be bumper cars! We have not a single issue with the Taliban in those field offices. Well, maybe you do now. Then again, it's the UN. We know how intelligent they are. Probably not. A spokesman for the UN High Commissioner of Human Rights also stated Tuesday that, quote, we call on the Taliban to demonstrate through their actions, not their words, that the fears for the safety of so many people from so many different walks of life are addressed. Mm-hmm. That's like saying you expect Kalala Harris to tell the truth. There isn't any chance that that could happen unless her... Unless you know, somebody had a gun to her head. And, and I don't want that to happen. And then I highly doubt that she would tell the truth. I imagine she even then she would find some way to not tell the truth. And again, I don't want that to happen. It was allegorical. A spokesman... Uh, the terrorist group also, excuse me, held a press conference where it's said that it is committed to the rights of women within the framework of Sharia. Well, we covered what that meant today. It's on one of the other videos. They killed a woman for not wearing a trash bag. I'm sorry, a hijab, same thing. Look. The issue of women is very important. Oh. The Islamic Emirate is committed to the rights of women within the framework of Sharia. Uh, within the framework of Sharia. That is like saying that you're going to have a beautiful house in the middle of a dung heap. Did he just call Sharia law a dung heap? Yes, I did. 
The UN appears to believe that the Taliban has changed. Well, we know how that went less than 24 hours later, don't we? Use the thinking part of your brain. It has been 20 years since they were able to freely go around shooting women in the head for daring to have jobs. So we're supposed to believe they're reformed characters now or something? It says the UN stance comes on the heels of the US State Department asking the Taliban to inform a inclusive government. Again, it's like asking Drake to release a CD, which doesn't suck. It can't happen! It's not in them! The notion that this literal bunch of barbarians could govern with justice or that women and children could enjoy their life under Sharia law is patently ridiculous. It's how you end up the dummy of the day. It's the very same Reuters who we're supposed to trust, according to the fact checkers, that report it is noted that the Taliban fighters have been literally killing people trying to get to the airport who leave Afghanistan. Sources say it says that the Taliban has been going door to door threatening retribution for those who helped America and its allies. But remember, we were told that they weren't going to do that. Friends, this is what happens when you engage in nation building. But that doesn't exchange, that doesn't ignore, I should say, that doesn't expunge the fact that the United Nations knows what kind of evil we are dealing with. Let's just pause everything else for a minute and address this. This isn't some error. Large portions of the United Nations are Islamic. And I'm not going to look into this camera and tell you that every single person who is Islamic is a threat or a danger. But we know that a lot of the people who claim to be moderate, based on the very numbers of the people within the Afghanistan army that did not fight, we know for sure that many of them were already perverted by the cancer that is radical Islam. How many of those people are already in the United Nations? Telling lies and covering for these barbarians in exactly the same way that we saw when members of CNN on air, said that the Taliban seemed friendly, even as they were chanting death to America. This is being done by design. It is no act. These people did not believe that the Taliban were going to be fair and moderate. And the whole reason that I take the time to make these videos is I pray to God and Jesus above that you'll hit share, hit subscribe, do whatever it is that you have to do to get these videos out to people because it doesn't matter if you believe in God. It doesn't matter if you're an atheist. I've made videos on this. What matters is that we are being led by truly, truly evil people who are allowing atrocities to happen and claiming they didn't know any better. We know that they know better based on history. Everybody listening to this knew better. So you need to start asking yourself, and you need to start hitting share, and you need to start making sure other people are asking, why is this being allowed to happen? If the Great Reset is a lie, then explain how this is happening. If we're not trying to divide people, then explain to me how this is happening, because friends, it is out of control. And the correct views means you develop correct view by looking at history. And history tells us that they know, they know the evil that is the Taliban and radical Islam. And this is being allowed to happen. I don't mean that we shouldn't have left. I mean that we didn't destroy the weapons first, so now they can be used against us. And things like that. This is being done on purpose. Hit share, hit subscribe. Good night, friends. God bless.